Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Um, we uh, have just made our way into Meridia, and we'll be uh, making some headway in this video. Uh, there's a kind of triple, tricky, triple, tricky grappling beam sequence up here. Uh, sometimes I cheat and, and use a glitch, but uh, where you can jump a little air. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it. It's, if, it, if I can't do it, if it's taking me a long time, then maybe I'll, I'll resort to that, but let's go in with high hopes. <laughs> Parents watching, uh, you mean debris downstairs, let's watch it with them for a little bit, I'll probably go back and try to do this video. You know, it's not a great movie, but eh, it's not. We're going to watch this documentary uh, about a murder. Um, but my, my dad was like, look, I need something a little lighter, which I can definitely understand, especially for a Sunday night, you know. Come on. Oh, see, that's the problem. Sometimes it doesn't want to push you over, so. These guys, these are another enemy I forgot about that you can grab onto. Got the, the little bulbous head there, I don't know. Some kind of weird uh, sea creature. Alright. Yeah, well, that's another thing about the, um, the water levels is uh, a lot of the enemies aren't very scary because they have to have aquatic features, and, you know, it's like, you know, fish aren't very scary. You know, uh, they should have a big crocodile. They do have a snake-like boss, mini-boss. That's going to be cool. But they should have, like, a big crocodile. That would have been awesome. Maybe they'll do that in, the, in another game. They have a big crocodile in uh, Resident Evil 2. Love that game. I had it for the, uh, or, I mean, I probably still do have it for the N64, but I can't find the cartridge. Uh, so, and that's actually one of the games, because I can't, after having a PlayStation 2 with uh, the nice little padded, uh, you guys, uh, how long here, uh, the padded um, joystick, I, I like, I can't go back to the, uh, that, um, there's, there's a missile pack up here, actually two, so I'm going to go ahead and get that. Uh, could we use a few more missiles, but, um, you know, that, that uh, N64 controller joystick is so hard, you know, it like hurts your thumb. So, but what I was going to say is that Resident Evil 2 can actually be played pretty well with uh, just the, um, uh, the directional pad. Because the N64 had the joystick, but they also had the uh, just the old school directional pad that you that, that you could use in some games, not all. Um, you know, like uh, Ocarina of Time, which is uh, one of my one of the first games I had for because N64 was the first big system I had. I had Game Boy and stuff for a while, but N64 was the first big system I had, so I, I used to play that a lot. But fortunately, you can't use the directional pad on that. You some snail things or Stupid. They're just they're just kind of a dumb enemy because you can knock them all around and, and they can hurt you, but not very much. Oh, that uh, that little um, you know, super like jump move thing you do actually takes energy away from you. It's kind of an interesting thing. I didn't notice that for a while because it usually doesn't take enough for you to really for it to really matter. Um, so I didn't notice it for a while, and I was playing it one time. I was like, huh. It's got a nice feature. It's like, you know, there's some realism there because she's, you know, expending some energy uh, to do that. So it's going to take, you know, some from her, from her suit. Because I assume these energy tanks are all, they're all, like, linked to her suit. They're not, like, you know, it's, it's what the, it's what damage the suit can, 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 can uh, sustain, not, uh, not, um, Samus herself. So we'll turn on the ice beam here. Uh, we might also use super missiles because this guy is actually um, dealt with pretty quickly if you uh, just spam super missile on him. Because yeah, the thing about the beam is you got to charge up, and uh, you can only hit his head. So if his body's in the way, there's no such luck. So you can get the super missiles out faster. Oh, we're running out of super missiles, aren't we? Well, we'll just go to regular missiles and just. We got a bunch of those, we can just, you know, shoot all around. Well, if we can hit him. He dies, he goes down pretty quickly. He's, he's not a hard boss. 
any stretch of the imagination. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he's probably only got like one hit left him. I didn't know. Oh, yeah, he's really good now. Look at this, I might run out of missiles. Oh, look at that. Oh, that would have been so awesome if like that last shot killed him. I well, we still got the beam. I think there's a missile recharge thing coming up soon, so. No harm in a foul, really. Plus, he gives you some, so. Just in case there's like a, a, a missile door you gotta buy. I mean, it's pretty hard to get in a situation in this game where you don't have enough missiles or whatever. Because they have cheap recharge stations uh, when, you know, there's something that you needed, you know. And then, you know, the enemies drop things. So. Time is it? Oh, we still have time. Okay, so you dash through here to clear out these blocks, and then you might be able to. Because I usually, what I usually did, uh, I guess it's stuck in the sand, aren't I? Uh, what I usually did uh, is go the other way, but I've seen people do it like this. Straight at the timing, right? You can go down here to get items, but it's, it's really annoying because you have to go all the way back up, you know, through through the whole meridia, so. Okay, let me try that again, and if I don't get it, then I'll just go the way I usually do. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I usually never did did anything where you, like, jump up and then do the ball. But I saw some people do it in videos, and I was like, ah, that's a good idea. There, it's funny because there's some, like, there's some classic tricks. You know, there's some stuff that, you know, is... is is really well documented in terms of like you know the wall jump and stuff and then there's just like little practical things that people have figured out to, to help themselves out so it's kind of cool that's why it's always good to like you know just as you know anyone that's uh, interested in gaming in general it's uh, good idea to watch let's plays um because you can pick up some new, new moves <laughs> Okay, these things. These things right here, yeah. They actually, it's, it's weird, they have a weakness to the grappling beam. Because I think it takes like two shots to kill them with your uh, beam. So, even if you have the ice beam on, because it, it takes one shot to freeze them and another shot to kill them. So, um, okay, you gotta do some crazy grappling things here. But uh, for the first couple times, they have a whole wall of grappling beams, so you can just latch onto it and uh, wall jump yourself. Wall jump yourself up there. <laughs> I don't even know what accent that is. Wall jump yourself up there. <laughs> what is that? I really sh should never do accents, ever. I'm, I'm uh, very, very like, I'm very uh, like non, like I don't have an accent like, at all. I'm very uh, neutral in my accent, I guess. Which uh, isn't isn't a positive or a negative. It's uh, <laughs> it's neutral. <laughs> oh man, sometimes, sometimes I just you know, as the as the. As Jack Nicholson as a Joker would say, sometimes I just kill myself. They don't make them like they used to, eh? Hey, Batsy. <laughs> I really, uh, I've seen some people that do video clips, um, you know, in their in their vids sometimes, let's play. So I don't know if I can if I can figure out how to do that. Very cool. I it's always was kind of fun, change of pace. Uh, well, I'm gonna get up here and then check my time because I don't want to I don't want to run over. So and this is like God, this thing. Yeah, it's really annoying right here. Oh yeah, we got. Eh, we probably want to stop it here. So next time, I'll. Uh, next time we'll fight uh, crayfish guy. All right.